right guys welcome back to the channel i hope you guys had a happy new year and this is my first video of 2020 so what we're going to be doing for this video is we're going to be doing an awards kind of like an award show so we're going to give it be giving award and things in the game so these are my 2019 ratio legends awards and before we get into it i just want to say that i don't want this video to be negative so we will try and look at on the bright side of things because i know there's lots of negativity surrounding the game and that's probably been there since the release of the game and probably gone worse over time so hopefully in 2020 uh Plarium can actually make some changes to make the game better so what my favorite time in the game uh in 2019 was when there was uh when we had daily login awards and not to sound too negative but i had a feeling that once those 90 day uh 90 days were over we would not be getting any more <laughs> but then at the end of 2019 uh, we have an event right now there's a form of daily login awards in the champion training event and i also want to know what was your favorite time in 2019 in ray shell legends so let me know down in the comment section and also a disclaimer so these awards are based on my opinion some of them are some of them are voted on by the community so if they are voted on by the community i will let you guys know and also nominees will be five per category so apologies if your favorite champion did not get nominated and let's get on with the awards So when you first start of the game, you're given an important choice from the get-go. So you get to choose who is your starting champion. This decision has a huge impact on how you progress early, mid, and to a lesser extent, end game. So this category is the best starter champion. So the nominees are Gallic, Lane, and Kale. So the winner is gonna be Kale. So at the start of the game, uh, I had actually had Aethel as the best starter when I first started playing uh, because of her triple hit A1. I actually had also had a weaken on it and her self buff and her AOE. As I played the game more, I started my uh, free to play series of which I chose Kale as my starting champion. I realized how strong Kale is uh, because of his poison and his powerful AOE damage. And most people that do the research before starting the game choose Kale. So that's the reason why Kale is a winner. Congratulations, Kale. So let's move on. So the next, so the next topic is going to be artifact sets. So you know uh, what I mean by artifact sets, like a life set, offense set, defense set, crit rate, and so forth. So I actually asked you guys on the community page, what is your favorite artifact set of 2019 in Raid Shadow Legends? I had 176 votes. Uh, one per one person actually voted chicken nuggets. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> So I actually had crit damage and other if they wanted something else posted there. Accuracy, speed, lifesteal. So going into this, I had a feeling that lifesteal would be the majority vote. And it was 59% of the people that voted lifesteal. So lifesteal set is everyone, well not everybody, but most people's favorite set of 2019 because it's so versatile. You can use it uh, in dungeons, mostly clan boss. Uh, you can make, basically use it everywhere in the game. It actually makes your starting champions able to clear campaign and brutal so that's why the winner of the artifact set for 2019 is lifesteal set and let's move on to the best mastery of 2019 so the nominees for the best mastery of 2019 uh we had war master and giant slayer put together so they basically do the same thing uh but with more one of them has you yeah, need to have more hits which is giant slayer and uh, the other one's less than three so, uh, retribution i put that up there i thought i think is one of the best uh, masteries in the game has 50% chance of counterattack. Um, flawless execution, 20% crit damage. Eagle Eye, plus 50 accuracy. And the last one is Lore of Steel. The last nominee is Lore of Steel. So this increases basic uh, set bonuses by 15%. So I think a lot of you guys will probably know who the winner is. So the winner has to be War Master slash Giant Slayer. So getting one of these masters is a huge uh, game changer for your team and it will drastically increase the effectiveness of your lifesteal gear and significantly increase your clan boss damage. So I do not think it can even be argued that any other mastery is better than War Master and Giant Slayer. So overall, the best mastery of 2019 is War Master and Giant Slayer. So moving on to dungeons. So dungeons are where we send our champions to fight 
and auto click their way to get end game loot uh, so we can further progress on our mission to get Arbiter. So now that the question is which of these dungeons are the hardest, here are the nominees. So the hardest dungeon of 2019 nominees are Dragon's Lair, Ice Golem's Peak, Fire Knight's Castle, Spider's Den, So the winner of the hardest dungeon of 2019 is going to be Spider's Den. So this was hands down the hardest dungeon of 2019 in Ray Shadow Legends. As the year came to a close, Playroom decided to give us Ultimate Gallic to make the challenge a little bit easier for those unable to clear stage 20. And um, nonetheless, Spider's Den was the hardest dungeon of 2019. So now we're going to go move on to the faction specific awards. So the best faction of 2019 to the nominees, uh, they are actually community. So this is going to be a community vote. So I asked them what was the best faction of 2019 in Ray Shadow Legends and the nominees were Sacred Order, High Elves, Dark Elves, Night Revenant, Demon Spawn. Let's see the comments. Let's <laughs> get if you vote for anything besides Martyr, Venus and Sir Nick, you don't know how the game works. <laughs> I think best faction is also uh, who wishes your favorite as well. It doesn't mean it has to be the best in terms of gameplay. Uh, another person voted for Knights Revenant because of Skull Crown. Um, Lizard Men. So, Adel said, What about Lizard Men? Chris, Draco, Rosin. So, yeah, they are good, but that's basically it. They only have Chris, Draco, Rosin, and Jarek. So, I wouldn't say they were the best um, faction of 2019, in my opinion. Okay, so the winner, the winner is. By not that much, actually, 31% of the votes, the winner is the Sacred Order. So the winner is Sacred Order, followed by the High Elves. The High Elves had 29% of the votes, and that was um, 197 people who voted for this. So it's, it's kind of hard to argue because you got Martyr here, you got Roshkar the Tower, uh, Cupidus, Sir Nick, Venus, and then if you look at the Epic Champions, uh, they have Juliana for Clan Boss, Aethar for Clan Boss. Um, you also have like the first champion that people thought was good it was um, Relic Keeper. You have Light Sworn, he's a beast. Uh, Frostbringer, I say, is good. Talion Phoenix got some synergy going on. And then you look at the rares, you got Aethel, one of the, uh, can arguably be the best starter if, uh, if you argue, <laughs> argue it, but I still think Kale is a little bit better. And if you look at the uncommons, they actually have Armager and they have Outlaw Monk. Those are the, one of the best uncommons in the game. And they also have Sister Militant, one of the best common champions in the game. So yeah, I would agree with that. Sacred Order is good. So they deserve to win the 2019 Best Faction of the, of the Year award. So now we're going to do a fast fire round. We're going to go per faction and choose the best overall rare, epic, and legendary regardless of affinity. So no, it doesn't matter if they're void or whatever. So for the Banner Lords. So we got Steadfast Marshall as the best rare for the Banner Lords. Best epic we have warcaster and best legendary we have raglan so quick fire round we're not going to explain why we're just going to keep going so this is pretty obvious apothecary is going to be the best rare best rare for the uh, high elves tarot's wins best epic for the high elves and arbiter wins best legendary for the high elves moving on to the sacred order so aethel is going to win best rare light sworn wins best epic for sacred order and legendary martyr wins best legendary for sacred order Moving on to Barbarians, best rare is War Maiden. Best epic is going to be High Katoon. So as of 2019, this champion, I don't think a lot of people even have her. So I'm not going to put her in the boat. And the best legendary is going to be Valkyrie. Best rare is got to be Bellower. Best epic is going to be Skull Crusher. And the best legendary is going to be Bigun. Horus Books wins the best rare. Jarek wins best epic. Chris the Ageless, Ageless wins best legendary. Skinwalkers, Grappler wins best rare. Steel Skull wins best epic. Longbeard wins best legendary. So Veteran wins best rare champion. Vrask wins best epic. And Warlord wins best legendary for the orcs. Demon Spawn, Fellhound wins best rare. Umbral Enchantress wins best epic. Duchess Lilla 2 wins best legendary. Undead Hordes, Seducer wins best rare. Gogurb wins best epic, and Battle Kazar wins best legendary, of course. Moving on to Dark Elves. So Cold Heart wins best rare, Madame Cerise wins best epic, and Vizier Ovalos wins best legendary. Moving on to Night Revenant. 
Crimson Slayer wins best rare. Miscreated Monster wins best epic. And Hegemon wins best legendary. And the last one, Dwarves. So best rare, Bulwark wins best rare. Rearguard Sergeant wins best epic. And Torment the Cold wins best legendary. So that's it for the quickfire round. Now we're gonna move on to another one. Best common champion nominees. We got Bully, Sister Militant, Warboy, Death Knight, and Yeoman. Just because of his name. So the winner is gonna be Sister Militant. So Sister Militant is the best common champion unless you consider the bully meme. So surprisingly, she is the only usable. She is the only usable common champion. She doesn't do a whole lot, but she has an AoE and that's it. So the, that's why she won because she has an AoE on her basic attack. So congratulations, Sister Militant. So when we think of uncommon champions, we think of food. Uh, but these nominees are able to do extraordinary things other than being used for cannibalism. <laughs> Some are able to clear Brutal 12-3 in 6 seconds, while another can place poisons on the clan boss for days. So when it comes to Spider, clan boss are just a, just a plain old campaign farmer. These guys are great specialists, so it's time to acknowledge the best uncommon champions of 2019. So the best uncommon champions of 2019 nominees are Outlaw Monk, Armager, Shield Guard, Zephyr Sniper, and Saurus. So the winner of the best uncommon champion of 2019 is going to be Armager. So he can actually be used in the hardest dungeon in the game at stage 20, so that's Spider's 10 20. So he has to get this award and he has terminated manipulation and an attack based on enemy max HP. Moving on to the next award. So rare champions are our friends. They are relatively easy to get and they can be maxed out very quickly in terms of skill upgrades. So these nominees are, are the best of the best for non-void rare champions. So let's take a look. Kale, Aethel, War Maiden, Apothecary, Crimson Slayer. So the winner by a landslide is Apothecary. So he is hand, hands down the best rare champion in Rayshaw Legends. So you can literally, literally use this guy anywhere in the game and even at the highest stages. So congratulations to Apothecary. Now let's take a look at our Void Rare friends who are a bit harder to get because they can only come from Void Shards. So many of you can probably guess who the winner is before I even list the nominees. But uh, yeah, the nominees are Reliquary Tender, Cold Heart, Fellhound, Bulwark, Bellower. So the winner is Cold Heart. So many are still wondering how this rare champion is still allowed to function how she does for a whole year. So we do not know what the future holds for Colar, but for 2019, she is the best rare void champion. Let's move on to our epic champions. So some of these guys can actually rival legendary champions, and then some of them are actually better than some, some legendary champions. So champions like Tyrell, Miscreated Monsters, Skull Crusher, etc. So this winner is going to be hard to choose, so I have uh, left it to the community to choose the winner of this award. So the nominees for best non-void epic champion are Tyrell, Miscreated Monster, Skull Crusher, Steel Skull, and the other is um, comment down below. So they have to choose who they wanted. Let's look at what people said. So Ryan Travis says that Skull Crusher is by far the best overall. His counterattack for the team would outweigh all for all content. Miscarried Monster, if you're already end, if you already end game and have great gear, he can be used it very well. So honestly, that's really hard. I say Skull Crusher though, for sure. Uh, Fast Cash says a cult brawler over Tayrell and Steel Skull if you're still in early game, only for CB. I actually disagree with that because Tayrell can be used in CB as well. And same with Steel Skull. And I'm looking at this in, in terms of overall uh, gameplay. Uh, Thomas Oliver says Tayrell is great, but his role can be done by other, by a couple other champs if you change your composition accordingly. Skull Crusher is top only for Fire Knight and CB. Steel Skull is dope, but not game changing unless you have Vizier. Uh, I am going for Miscreated Monster as he is the most amazing carry in the game. Farming G4, I'm guessing Gold 4 is a breeze with him. He can farm Nightmare Campaign. Plus, I actually agree with that. He can actually farm for Nightmare Campaign. Plus, he is fun to play and watch. For me, he's an ultimate winner here. So I actually agree with Thomas Oliva. Uh, David Babbitt says, Old Game Changers, Tayrell advanced my game the most. Skull Crusher is a very close second, Frank is third. Uh, Stress Maker says, Hello, Miscreated Monster for sure. I don't have him, but from what I've seen, he's the best from uh, out of out of this list. Only if you don't need counterattack. Peace. Uh, Nilima Gosh says Skull Crusher because counterattack. And Christopher Carter says Madame Cerise. So coming in second place is gonna be Tayrell, 25% of the votes. And 50% of the votes, the winner is gonna be Miscreated Monster. 
So congratulations, Miss Crate Monster. You are the best non-void epic champion of 2019. So now we're gonna do the best void epic champion of 2019. So the nominees are gonna be Skull Crown, Golden Reaper, Madame Cerise, Man Eater, Light Sworn. So the winner of the best void epic champion of 2019, the winner is Madame Cerise. So she is a game changer, a very capable champion, able to literally instill fear in her opponents. Plus she also looks cool because the effects. So now we're gonna go for legendary champions. So legendary champions are what people truly want in this game. Uh, getting one can completely change your whole account for the better or for the worse if you pull one of the bad legendaries. But you need to pull one of these of one of these nominees. So this is voted on by the community and the nominees for the best non-void legendary of 2019 are. Let's take a look at the comments too. So the nominees are Valkyrie, Bad Alcazar, Dracomorph, Duchess Lilitu, Vizier Ovelis. So let's look at some of the comments. So the Lawler Coast caster, the Lawler caster says I think it's Vizier. He says he hesitated between Battle and Duchess, uh, but there is not really a champ with debuff extender apart from Bulwark, but he is a rare. And besides, Vizier has other uses too. Decent champ, I wish I had him. Uh, Boss says that Valk is probably the best here, but Battle is my personal favorite. Danny Menchaka says, depends where you use them. If you're talking CB, I like Dracomorph. Arena, I like Valkyrie and Duchess Lilla too. And uh, David771 says, Draco is too good, which I agree with. So, I don't personally agree with this. Uh, this is supposed to be the best non-void legendary of 2019. I don't personally agree with the community to vote, but I guess the people's choice is gonna be Bad Alcazar. So Bad Alcazar is the best non-void legendary of 2019. If it was my choice, I would make Valkyrie the best uh, non-void of 2019. So congratulations Bad Alcazar. He does have the people's vote. He's a people's champion. So what's more rare than a legendary champion? So how about a void legendary? So these champions are the hardest to get in the game. So if you have one, you have extremely good luck. So let's look at the nominees for the best Void Legendaries in Raid. Sir Nicholas, Warlord, Arbiter, Krutroxa, Krisk the Ageless. Best Void Legendary of 2019 is Krisk the Ageless. So this guy literally has a complete kit and can be used almost anywhere in this game. So what more can I say without just reading over his abilities? So he is a winner of 2019, but next year we will see if he is as ageless as his name suggests. Next year, maybe somebody else can take his place, but for now, he is the winner. So congratulations to Chris the Ageless. So now we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to go over the best buff of 2019. So what I have as the nominees are Ally Protection, Shield, Block Debuffs, Unkillable, and Block Damage. So all of these buffs are very, very good. But my my favorite buff and probably is the best buff of 2019 uh, is going to be unkillable because it will get nerfed in 2020. So it has, it has to win an award in 2019 and this will be the only year where we can make an unkillable team in Ultra Nightmare. Well, I can't say that yet because Plarium hasn't nerfed uh, unkillable yet. So congratulations and rest in peace to unkillable if it gets nerfed in 2020. So enjoy it while it lasts. Another one that we're going to go over is another category is debuffs. So debuffs for both our allies and enemies in 2019 from placing way too many poisons on the clan boss and even just too many debuffs in general. No wonder that guy is always trying to kill us. I'm talking about the clan boss. <laughs> from decreased attack to weaken to placing AOE provokes on a whole enemy team and vice versa. From torment the cold running rampant in arena and placing freeze on you just for looking at him. To the weird people that think torment is an elf. Bruh. Yeah, I still don't get that. Uh, debuffs were just amazing in 2019 and most recently with Amazon Prime we got Ultimate Gallic which helped a lot of people clear Spiders 20 due to his AOE HP burn. So I really love debuffs but not when they are used against my team. So the nominees for best debuff of 2019 are Poison, Freeze, HP Burn, Decrease Attack and Provoke. So the winner has to be the OG, the one that started off the year strong and still remained consistently elite until the end of 2019. So we are talking about poison. So without poisons, we cannot gang up on the clan boss and stack poisons on him. Poisons on him. Uh, we would just have to rely on Warmaster slash Giant Slayer procs or HP burn. Or HP burn can only be, you can only have one uh, debuff on the clan boss at a time, and that's not good. So I always get a great feeling whenever my Juliana lands those two poison debuffs on the clan boss. And then my damage just continuously stacks. So shout out to those that do not have a top tier poisoner like me. So I'm using Juliana. Uh, nonetheless, poison is a big deal in PvE content. 
and deserves to win the best debuff of 2019. So I couldn't really make up any more of a war, so that's the end of the war show. Uh, just give me a break, man. I've been sick. <laughs> so I truly appreciate you all for watching my videos. And next year, I will be a better overall awards video, hopefully. So make sure to subscribe, subscribe for more videos. So my goal is to reach 10K subs in 2020. Uh, might be a bit too high, but that's, that's going to be the goal. So drop a like if you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. So I'll see you guys in the next video.